Hey everyone, I'm Chris from Champion Helmets and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Senna SRL2 communication system into the Shui GTR2. Uh, then I'm going to run through some of the specs and also I'm going to show you how to use it. So this here is the Senna SRL2 communication system. Comes in a box just like this and it's going to fit perfectly into the Shui GTA 2 which I have here on my left and I'll show you how to do that in a second. Uh, <clears throat> this communication system though is going to be quite similar to the uh, Senna SRL 1 which was designed to fit into the Shui Neotech 2 which is a similar helmet to the GTA 2 but mainly uh, the difference is going to be that it's modular. But, and as well if you want to check out those videos uh, where we installed the SRL 1 into the Neotech 2 or reviews anything like that make sure you check that out on our YouTube page Champion Helmets on YouTube and subscribe while you're there. So personally, I know a lot of people can find it a bit uh, intimidating to pick a communication system, figuring out whether or not you can manage to fit it into your helmet and all, kind of, uh, all that kind of stuff. But I will show you with the uh, GTA in the center, it's quite easy. So first of all, we have to prepare the GTA 2. So that means we have to remove these covers. And I've already taken the liner out. Uh, on the inside as well, we have these covers for the speaker cutouts. So you just pull them out nice and easy. Hold on to them. We don't want to lose anything we take out. Then we take our tool from Shui, uh, comes with the GTA 2, uh, so it doesn't come with the center, keep that in mind, because we have to pop off these covers. To do that, we're just gonna wedge this in, down, and then pop it up. So I'll show you here, this tab, push it in. Oh, one side works better than the other. Like that, and we just pry it out. So if you miss that, I'll do it again from this angle. In, and I recommend that you hold onto these while you do it so they don't just fly off. Again, don't lose them. You might need them for later on. And here we do the same thing. Oops, wrong way. There we go. That comes off. And then a bit of filler. All right, so now we're all ready to go with the GTA 2. Let's just put this back down here. And here's the center system. Now, uh, you have to put the microphone on yourself. I've already put it on. I'll show you how to do it. I'll take it off and put it back on. It's quite easy. Just push it back on. There's one way it can go. It has a notch there, so make sure you get it correct. We've got it on, and it's connected. It's pretty simple. So, all right. Now, first of all, I'm going to put the battery pack in. You'll be able to see on the different uh, speakers which side is which. So this is the L for left, and this is the right, R for right. Uh, it's important because the microphone will only fit on one side. All right, so then let's get this. Uh, let's get this in. Uh, let's see. I want to go on left on this side. Yep. So I'll just kind of put this into the helmet. Put the battery pack on first. Basically, just get it in position. Lift up the rubber here and get it in there nicely. So next up, we're gonna put the controller on. So you take the controller here, and then you wanna get these notches here into the grooves, and then you just push it on. You slide it up in the direction of the arrow, which is this way. Get, the, get that on, and then push. And you'll notice that this clips in, locks it into place, so it's not gonna come off. Do it again on this side. Take this here, get it into position notches into place, where is that, push it this way, and then push it on, nice and firm. Speakers next, start with this one, pretty easy. Uh, this you want to match up with the cutout for the cord, so let me just do that. Then you just push it on. Do the same on this side, but we should also take care with the microphone that it lines up correctly. And everything is made to fit precisely, so you don't have to worry about that. And then we'll take the microphone here. Whoops, it has a, uh, it's got this Velcro on the back. You attach that with a sticker and then you pop it into there. So it has this cutout here and we want to run the cord through that pop out. Oh, sorry, through that cutout. There's a few teeth there to grip onto the cord as well. So I highly recommend you don't do this upside down. And in. All 
All right, so that's in. And then we have these here. And these are help, going to help you when you put the liner back in. So we just line everything up and then push it down, keep everything in place, get your cables all sorted and out of the way. And the liner will just fit in over top of it. Do as well on this side, push it in. That's how you install it basically. And then you just put the liner back on. It's not that hard. It takes a few minutes as you can see. Uh, but with the GTA 2, it's all pre-made, it's ready to go. So I've taken the center system out of the GTA 2, as you can see here, and now's a good time to run through some of the specs. First of all, it has 1.6 kilometers worth of range or a mile. I would take about 10 to 15% off of that, um, just for the real world variables. But it's still fairly, it's still got a fairly good range. And it's going to support up to eight people in a, uh, in a network, so you can chat with up to eight of your mates. And while that sounds like a, like a feature, like a good feature, it depends on your mates, because if you have a group of people who like to talk over each other, that can be a headache. But, you know, keep that in mind to choose your partners carefully. And we can also, we also have a noise cancellation feature, so it's going to cancel out background noise. This is great for when one of your mates uh, just won't close their visor up, so it's going to make, uh, make speaking and listening a little bit easier. So when it comes to audio and music and all that kind of stuff, Senna do have you pretty well covered. It comes with a built-in FM radio, so you don't have to uh, connect to your phone just for that. Uh, speaking of connecting, you can also connect to your phone via Bluetooth. And from there, uh, from the Bluetooth, you can listen to anything that you can listen to on your phone, podcast, music, uh, GPS, navigation instructions, that's an important one. But it also has uh, multitasking for audio. So you can have your music playing, then you can talk to your friend, you can hear your friend as well in the background. Uh, so it's going to allow you to uh, not just stop your music, listen to your friend, start your music. Pretty handy. And you can also share your music with up to an, uh, one other friend. So you can connect with them and share your music uh, over, the, uh, over the comm system, which is a pretty cool thing. Good way to annoy your friends as well. Now, uh, it does have a built-in voice function. So you can just speak. You can say call, uh, call one, and then you can call your friends, stuff like that. It's a handy way uh, to navigate with this uh, comm system. You don't have to use uh, the controller all the time. So you can as well make phone calls with the center system. Uh, you just have to connect it to your phone via Bluetooth. And I'll show you how to make calls in a second. Uh, first of all, the battery though, it's going to have a 10 hour life, uh, 10 hours of talk time. So if you're gonna be talking for 10 hours, I would expect less than that personally, you know, real world conditions. And it's also gonna go from zero to 100% charge uh, in about two and a half hours. So it's not a bad uh, charging time. And after a hard day of writing, when the battery's dead, you can easily charge that up overnight with no, with no hassles at all. So that's the battery. And this whole system altogether, it only weighs about 100 grams. So it's quite light. It's not going to add much to your overall weight. Um, yeah, so when it comes down to it, it's not going to be too noticeable, especially, you know, 100 grams isn't that much. All right, guys, to use the system, it's quite easy. So uh, first of all, though, I'm going to recommend that you take this book. It's a quick start guide. It's in multiple languages. It's in the box. And it's going to show you how to do everything. It's pretty clear. It's pretty simple, as you can see here. And yeah, you know, it's pretty foolproof, if I'm honest. And if you get stuck, uh, you can always use a voice command. So first of all, I'm gonna show you guys how to turn this on. Let's take this. We take the plus button and the middle button and just hold them down. And it's gonna say at first, preparing headset. And it's gonna tell me. Hello. Hello. Lovely. Uh, the different flashes as well are the battery indicator. Um, we can do some cool things. We can have the radio. We can press this to answer a call. If we have a call coming in, we can hold it down. Uh, adjust the volume, of course, stuff like that. Connect to the phone. Uh, you just hold that down while you have Bluetooth on with your phone. I've covered this in the uh, original S SRL1 video, so you can check that out as well. It's uh, a lot more detailed. But I'm going to show you how to do the voice commands because I do quite like them. I think they're pretty cool. Uh, so to do that, we have to say, hello, Senna. Um, speed dial two. Speed dial two. Uh, so obviously we don't have anyone on speed dial two. Uh, hello, Senna. Hello, Senna. FM radio. FM on. Sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, I don't have anything connected at the moment, or I haven't got any presets. Uh, hello, Senna. Um, Intercom 7. Intercom 7. 
Yep, so that's the radio still in the background. So we go, hello center. FM radio off. And that's it. Then to turn it off, also very simple. It's the same as turning it on. Just hold that down and it does say goodbye. So using it is very, very easy. If you're interested in picking up a Senna SRL2 system, check out the product bundles at Champion Helmets because there you can get a good discount on this system when you buy it in a bundle with the GTA2 and that is of course the helmet that you actually need to use the system with. Alright guys, so this has been the Senna SRL2 communication system. Uh, I've shown you how to install it on the GTA2. I've shown you how to work it and told you about a few of the functions. So if you have any questions or anything like that, make sure you drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you guys out. So guys, thanks for watching. I'm Chris from Champion Helmets and I'll see you all next time.